Hey you guys, hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Tiff here, plan on it underscore 39, and the owner of Love and Light Charms. Thank you guys for tuning in, today we are going to be laying down the monthly spread for November using the kit from Sticker Guru, y'all know I love her monthly kits. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now that I've laid my base down at the top, I am going to focus on my sidebar. I'm gonna be pulling in a doll from Planning City, and I love this doll. Super excited about it. For the month of November, it was so many amazing things going on, and this spread is about to be super dope because of it. We had SGS going on, of course, Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, it was lit. Keep watching to see all the beautiful stickers that I'm going to be laying down. Hopefully I can introduce you to some new shops. And you guys don't mind seeing the old shops because y'all know I have my oldies but goodies. Some of these shops I've been rocking with for ever. Forever, ever. And you know they're good when you keep going back, right? For sure. So this doll duel that one of my boos had gave me, I think it was Shanice Planners and Tacos, was perfect for the girls trip heading to SGS. So me, Shanice, Marche, we rolled down to Orlando. We had the time of our lives. Like if you ain't never been to a conference, I'm telling you, please make it your business to go. It's nothing like 
seeing and meeting everybody like face to face is no better feeling. I know I'm definitely going to at least one major planner event, maybe two. I think I'm capping off with two major events for the year. And of course, I'll be going to the free ones. Y'all know I host a free one every other month. So if you guys are in the city of Atlanta and you want to come hang out with us, just hit me up. I'll give you the deets on when the next um, meetup is going to be. And yeah, slide through. So for sure, a free one. Granted, you know, I don't have nothing else to do. But for pay, yeah, two major ones, maybe one mini one. So that's where I'm at as far as events and planner meetups in 2023. I really love how I did the weekend of SGS. It was on and popping. And my little thing that I did, it just displayed the wonderful time that we was having. The day covers are from Sticker Guru as well. And I love that they give you all the elements that you need in your monthly kit. What do y'all think y'all planning style is now from where y'all started? Like, do you feel like it's the same or do you feel like it's different? For me, I feel like my planning style definitely has changed. But I feel like it's been the same for the past maybe two years. Because it's like, I'll stay consistent with doing it this specific type of way or style. And then I start putting a twist on it. And so even though it's still me, it's giving you a totally different vibe. So I think my planning style is more like a remix. <laughs> For sure. Like you never know what you're going to get. The last several months, I haven't even really been using that much foil, I noticed. Like, it just dawned on me out of nowhere. Like, girl, you ain't even using no foil. The beginning of the year is definitely going to be a fresh start, so. I'll be back using my foil.
2023 is a definitely about to be my year. I'm already thinking about all the ways that I could be more organized or improve my organization. One is going to start off with having my calendar, having my schedule for the month. So you guys are going to know when I'm dropping new releases in the shop, when I'm doing sales. I'm also going to be dropping my new release videos here on YouTube. Shout out to my bestie Shanice for the idea that that was absolutely amazing. You're also going to know when the bi-monthly planner meetups are going to be. It's, um, I'm also going to be putting out information for the planniversary, the yearly um, pay event. Yeah, you guys are going to have all the information that you need to plan accordingly. So I'm looking forward to all the wonderful things that I'm about to manifest in 2023. My word for the year is done. Like completed. Check your shit off. Left and right. Super focused. And nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Mm. I'm all the way up. That's my mood for the rest of my life. What I've been doing lately when I've been using the Sticker Guru monthly kits, I've been putting a spin on it and meshing it up with the journaling kit. It's been working out really, really well for me. I really like it. So if you guys want to try something like that, I think it'll be really cute in your spread. If I didn't mention, I still got the code over there at Sticker Guru to 15. So if you want the extra freebie, drop my name.
soon I'm gonna be adding the characters and I'll be talking about those in a little more depth Alright, it's time to get it popping with them character stickers. Here is a full view of how the spread is looking so far. And I think it's looking pretty good. I know it looks super duper full, but sometimes that's how your monthly supposed to look. On Monday, which was the last day of October, we had to go vote. And so I pulled in that sticker from, or the sticker from Valia Tuma, the little vote sticker. We was voting for the US Senate. Then on the first, I pulled in the selfie girl from Indian Ivy Inc. because I had got my hair done. 
and I was feeling extra cute. And of course, the first, you know the mortgage payments is due, honey. Mortgage payments, rent, some people car notes. Thank goodness I ain't got to worry about no car note no more. Not right now, anyway. Taking a break from them car notes for a couple years. Now I think about what my next car going to be. Or should I say truck? Because I like to ride high. I just can't get it together on the first, can I? All right, so on the second, I had to go pick up the reno for our road trip. And then we dipped out early Thursday morning. We got there a day early so that we could have time to hit up the outlet and just get settled in before everybody start arriving. On the 12th, I used another Valia Tuma sticker and I used the little pancake sticker on the 13th because we went to breakfast. The foil drapings are from The Giving Girl. And I believe they were little pumpkins. Pretty sure they got little pumpkins on there. Here I'm pulling in an Isis Ella Jewel. Get that shit money, honey. That was a payday. And on Wednesday, I'm pulling in the Cookie Sticker Co. Hump Day sticker. I love that fucking sticker for um, Wednesdays. I don't know if she's doing stickers anymore, but I'm definitely set forever with them stickers. Here is another Isisella Jewel because those bills got to be paid. Them bills ain't going to pay themselves. Sometimes you gotta do a little modification to the stickers. Y'all know anytime Bay come home, he be on one.
on the seventh I'm pulling in this happy mail sticker from Indian Ivy Inc cuz I got me some happy mail The ninth was Nicole's birthday, and then on the tenth was Courtney's birthday. So happy birthday again to my booze. Also, I had to pull in the paper doll stickers, a budgeting. So here I'm using a Marie Italian Plans Bestie sticker. Because me and Bestie hung out. And then I used on the 18th of a Tuma grocery store sticker. So I hit up Publix. Green Bay is playing on the 13th. It's been a rough year for us, so I'm not really anticipating the win, but fingers crossed. 
the helmet stickers is from Roy Sweet Addiction. And she's actually about to be opening back up. use another paper doll sticker co sticker because I had got a nice bit of happy mail it was a great surprise and yes that sticker was warranted right there you guys can use tip 15 at paper doll stickers code too or mention my name when she's having a sale and you will get my freebie with her as well I can't get enough of the Valia Tuma this month. Another Paper Doll Stickers Co. Had that plan sash. Valia Tuma. Getting ready for the sale. Had a million things to freaking do. Love and Light Charms was in the Black Friday sale. And getting ready for themselves is no freaking joke. Here is the completed spread. I hope you guys love it.